Well, I uh, got a Dragon Ball Z Universe in the mail yesterday. And this quick little uh, video where I thought about it. You know, it's not a right game. It's not a right game. I mean, I've gotten, like, I was where Beerus is at, but that's as far as I'm going because, as far as I'm concerned, that fight with Beerus and uh, Whis, fuck that, fuck that. That is the most blatant, cheapest fucking way to make to make your characters overpowered. Both of them are over fucking powered. You can't hit them because all your hits just bounce off of them. You got both of them constantly comboing you. I'm like you know what? Fuck that. I'm done playing it. So I refuse to play a game. Uh, I refuse to play a game where it has to fucking cheat. Yeah, fuck Beerus and Whis. So I'll take Beerus and rip his fucking ears off of his head. God, destruct me like God of a bitch. Fuck out of here. Like I said, I've gotten uh, up to that point, and as far as I'm concerned, I'm, not, I'm done. They're trying that fucking mission to go 10 or 11 fucking times and I keep and I keep constantly getting comboed over and over again to the point where I can't fucking do anything I refuse to play I refuse to I refuse to do it I refuse to fucking do it like I got my credit card level rank 41 that's as far as I'm going I'm not doing no more and You see, I'm still not gonna. I'm like, I got my PSN up and running, and but when I'm offline, so I gotta connect the internet. My sister's gotta come in and fix it. See what she can do. Uh, and it says the universe ain't a bad game. Not I'm buying, but I was looking at it and uh. GameStop, I was looking at that between MLB 15 show, and I'm glad I chose MLB 15 to show. Because, now I understand, like, why the fuck do they gotta make games so blatantly cheap? There's a couple of battles in that fucking, in the, in the campaign, I had to repeat, to repeat over and over again because how fucking cheap they are. It's fucking frustrating. Like you don't you don't gotta make your game that way. You're not gonna make your fucking game that fucking cheap. Bro, you can't even lay a hit on the fucking character. Like you're sitting there kicking and punching them and your your hits are just going like this to them. This is all they're doing to them. They're standing there like that, just bouncing off all your fucking hits. You don't you don't need to make your characters like that. That's fucking bullshit. So yeah, I'm 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 done playing it. As far as I can go with it. You gotta say, even if I get up to rank 60 something, I'll still have a hard time with it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm done with it. I have no reason to continue it. Figure I'd get near the end anyway, so. You gotta figure, like, if that, that Beavis and Weeze player, that Demi growls after him, so. Yeah, he's another one that, that's a cheap piece of shit. So, uh, yeah. I have no reason to continue playing it. So, yeah. If you can't beat a fight, why fucking continue to get angry at it? If you can't beat it, fuck it. Yeah, so, I'm done. It was a fun game I last I played it for a whole full fucking day. It's over two days now. So, I'm pretty much done. I'm not continuing it. Dumbass internet. Shit. You know, I waited a whole fucking year to play that game. Made a whole year to play that game, and this is what I got with it. Yeah, the fighting mechanics are good, but. 
I mean, yeah, the games you guys go gameplay. The the whole wide open range field and you got like six players like fucking fighting and shit. The you got the whole the whole like wide open area and you got all these, these fights going on all over the place, but what's the point of campaign? I mean I understand you gotta put a story mode into it, but like I said, you ain't gotta make it cheap. You're a fucking ranking system, and you, you know what? You can take your ranking system, you can shove it up your ass, okay? Fuck you and your ranking system. Games that do that bullshit. You gotta do that this specific rank to get this. Blow me. It's a game I won't be buying. It's a game that's not even gonna be on my list. I've decided that I'm taking it. Well, I have no intention of buying it now. Because, it really doesn't, like, the single player campaign really doesn't offer anything. You get, basically you only get two fucking modes. You get a story and you get parallel, that's all you get. I and mean, you get a verse battle. Yeah, I think it's yet another Dragon Ball Z game that just falls short. Just like Ultimate Tenkaichi. Just... Just nothing to offer. So... Unless they put out another Dragon Ball Z game that's actually worth fucking playing. I'm done with Dragon Ball Z games. I'm not buying no fucking more. I'm not, I'm not even gonna waste my time renting them. Because as much as Xenoverse was a good game, I think uh, somewhere down the road, somewhere along it was a flat out disappointment. I guess people only playing it for the online component. Nay, I wish there was more in it. I wish, like, there was more stuff to do. Like, the only thing you can do in that fucking game is story mode. And in fucking parallel universe. And, yeah, you can, like, do burst battles, but. You tell me that's all you're offering? Three modes? You get all kind of customization, you get all kind of items, and. But, what good does it do you? What good customization do you if you can only do it three fucking modes? You know what they should have done? And fucking uh the time thing. They should let you take a custom uh bring like a custom teammate in there with you. For, for a teammate who's like rank eighty. But no, you get stuck with no you can't even bring a, a, a teammate in there you say you can't go in there with a teammate. It takes so long to rank the fuck up. It took me a while to get to 41. It took me two days to get to 41. Like I said, even though I guarantee you, even if I rank up to fucking 70 or 80, I'm still gonna have time to that fucking Wee's Beavers battle. I, I've never, I never played a battle like that. I mean, seriously. I'm fucking thinking, alright, maybe I'll get to the rest of this. With no problem, maybe I'll get to the rest of this fucking campaign. Uh, with little, little problems. Boy, was I wrong. Fucking Weiss and Beavers overpowered ass motherfuckers. Can't even hit them. They fucking double combo team your ass. Get the fuck out of here. Like I said, I'm done with that game. I'm done with it. I like I said, I have no reason to continue playing it. So. It's going back tomorrow. So the end I got my inventory. It was fun. Just didn't satisfy me. I don't feel no would never be another game like uh fucking Budokai Tenkaichi three. That to me was the best D V Z game out there, Budokai Tenkaichi three. Cause all the characters and the game is fucking balanced. That's the problem with games these days. They gotta they gotta make one fucking part in the game. Where they got they gotta make things cheap and overpowered. You don't have to do your your game like that. Fucking bullshit. Fucking playing Weiss and beers and they're fucking and they're fucking like got me in the center. They're fucking going like this to me, hitting me from all over the fucking place. Yeah, there goes my health. My health goes from like like this to this in a matter of three seconds.
<laughs> so. Yeah. It was fun, but I'm done. Yeah, I'm wearing my Ozzy shirt. I'm the greatest fucking ever. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> and what are you gonna do? I'm done with Dragon Ball Z games. I'm done with them. <laughs> I'm fucking done. <laughs> I'm feeling like Dragon Ball Z games are not for like not for like uh I don't know what I'm call it. Not like for for players who just fear to do things like simple. I feel like DVD games are now becoming for expert gamers. That's what I feel on this kind of comments though. Like they're making their games for people who who are like hardcore gamers and like the hard shit. I'm not I'm not doing it no more. I'm not fucking doing these Dragon Ball Z games. Anymore. I'm done with them. I'm done. I'm tired of cheap ass bullshit. I'm tired of these cheap ass fucking fights. So like I said, am I rating? I give DBZ Universe is like a six out of ten, or maybe seven. One because the fight mechanics are good. The roster is pretty pretty decent. Um, the customization's okay. I'll give that, but but that's really about it. I mean, it doesn't really offer anything. So let's say I give seven out of ten. Now the next one I make will be in a couple of years. They better do something different because you know what. Like I said, this fucking game just lacked a lot of shit. You only, you only get like three modes? What? I'm fucking believable. I'll stick to regular fighting game like Tekken. That's all I can say, I'll stick to that shit.